Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Mary Barfield, and I have two daughters, Emery, who is two years old, and my youngest daughter, who I just gave birth to a little over three weeks ago, and her name is Charlotte. And with the birth of my new baby, Cameron, my husband, and I actually decided to look into different baby monitors. Our previous monitor we had actually broke, and we had just been getting by with a audio monitor, one of the old school walkie-talkie type ones. But with moving our toddler daughter into a big girl bed where she could have access to the entire room and with our new baby girl coming we realized we needed to get a much better baby monitor system that had um, visuals and not just the audio because we want to make sure one that our daughter our oldest daughter wasn't getting into her drawers and into her closet and be able to check in on her at any given point and then also with our youngest daughter obviously being an infant you know the concerns of is she breathing all those you know um, anxious parent thoughts get into your head and you want to be able to see your baby so after doing tons of research, we both decided and landed upon the Lollipop Baby Monitor. It comes in three different colors. We got uh, the cotton candy color, which is pink, which of course, because we have two little girls, but it also comes in a light green and also a blue. The actual packaging, which I gotta tell you, the packaging on this monitor is to die for. So it comes in this big white box, and then the monitor's in here comes with a little quick setup guide applique card and then in here you have three little boxes where everything is stored so in the box you get the monitor the twig handle three rods that allow you to hide the wire that hangs down from the lollipop camera a matching colored clip that allows you when you wrap it around the crib to snap in place and of course the charge cord as you can tell, the box comes with everything that you would need to be able to fashion your baby monitor to any kind of surface, whether it be the wall, whether it be your crib, the bassinet, or just have it standing on a dresser tabletop. You are good to go. Now, as you can see, it literally looks like a lollipop, hence the name lollipop baby monitor. This tail is what I call it. As you can see, it kind of is weavy wobbly because I've already wrapped it around my baby's crib or bassinet in our bedroom. But the great part about this is it's totally bendable it's non-toxic silicone so if your baby does decide to nom on it you're a-okay but you can um, mold it into different shapes so what a lot of people do is they will have it like that that create a stand and it'll sit on a dresser and you can have the monitor look that way there's also the you can wrap it around the crib literally wrap it around or it comes with an applicator that is looks like a twig it's super cute it's a little tree that comes out of you can put it into the wall and you wrap that around the tree twig and there you go you are able to set up your monitor that way setting up the lollipop baby monitor is actually fairly easy all you do is you take the lollipop monitor you plug in the cord and you just download the lollipop app and you follow the instructions you'll set it up with your wi-fi and you're literally ready to go it takes less than two minutes to get it set up and um, ready for use as you can see the app itself allows you to have multiple monitors that was also a large consideration for us when we were looking at different baby monitors so up here we have emery's monitor and down here we have Charlotte's monitor which is currently in the living room because she's been in her swing a lot lately. Now as you can see the picture is very clear and different things that you can do within the app you can set a decibel sound limit so if, if you don't want it any louder than 80 decibels in your room which is what it comes automatically set for and if it gets louder than that it'll alert you immediately and say it's too loud in your daughter's room and it could be because the baby's crying it could be because a dog's barking in there it could be that the sound machine is too loud and it's notifying you the other feature that we love is that you can literally draw on the screen a box and say if my baby crosses out of this like for our toddler we draw the box around the bed um, if she gets out of the bed out of that box that's drawn it'll notify us and tell us there's a crossing detection meaning our daughter has crossed out of the appropriate area meaning she has gotten out of bed at this point um, so we can then flip it on and see if she's being good or if she was just getting out of the bed resituating herself and getting back in which she has done it before and there's also a crying detection on it you can set for low medium or high sensitivity if you want to know if your baby's crying and it'll notify you immediately so other features to that it has is it saves all the clips 
and you see these dots right here, these are crying notifications, crossing notifications. Anytime something has happened, it then videos for 30 seconds before and after the event. So you can actually go back to it and replay the clip so you can see what happened. Was my daughter getting out of bed to get a cup of water? Was she crying because she had a nightmare or was she up and she needed me to come in there? there so it um, saves, I think, actually a couple days worth of data. You don't even have to pay for it, which is great. That was the other thing. A lot of different monitors required that you sign up for a membership and you had to pay a fee every month to hold on to your content. As long as you're not wanting to save it indefinitely, this is a really great feature because it does hold it for you for a couple of days. And that's all I need. I don't need it any longer than that. I don't need a 30 day hold on, you know, data of video clips of our child. So other fun features it has is down here, you'll see a microphone. You can talk through this. You hold and talk to your baby in the other room. You can use the camera function and take a photo real quick, or you can hit the little sound icon and you can play white noise. You can play Chopin and it'll come through the baby monitor and the sound quality is actually pretty decent. So it's pretty cool. So if you don't want to buy a separate um, sound machine and baby monitor, just get this. One other feature I wanted to mention is that they have a share mode, meaning you, if you're having a babysitter, watch your child, but you don't want to give them full 100% access to your baby camera before and after they leave your house, you can share the app with them. So they'll get an invite to download the app and be able to access whichever monitor you give them access to. And then after they're done watching the kid, you just turn off their share function and they no longer have access to that. So I think that's another great feature when you're talking about security. It got really rated really high for um, security over the Wi-Fi, especially um, if you're even more nervous about it, you can shut it down where it's only able to be shared with people who are using your specific Wi-Fi. So if somebody is out on the street trying to hack into your baby monitor, they can't get into it if they're not on your Wi-Fi. Um, I'm not really big into tech, but my husband looked into it and he said it was really strongly rated. So I trust him. I trust the reviews that are out there and we have not had any issues with any hacking of our systems yet. So that audio monitor function, I wanted to show you. So here are the monitor screens up top. It has a few buttons. So if you see audio monitor, you just click that and you say, I want to listen to Emery's monitor tonight only. And now it's only listening to Emery's audio. And then we can, it turns into an audio phone. I think that feature is so cool. And then you just plug your phone in, it charges, and it's not killing your battery at all anyways either. So that's one of my favorite features of it because our last camera did not do that. And we had to buy a separate audio monitor for that very purpose, which is very annoying to have two systems running. All in all, it is a great camera. They run for about $149 on Amazon. Um, for the money, I think it's fantastic. The quality of the pictures, wonderful. It's not grainy at all. Uh, the sound quality is fantastic. The detection, it really, I mean, it knows when your baby's crying. It knows if there's just a loud noise in there. It can detect the difference between the two. It um, it can tell you when they're up and out of bed. That's a great feature for toddlers who are moving to a big, big girl or big boy bed. We just love it. It was totally worth the money and we love the fact that we can add multiple cameras to it. So if you have a growing family, it's a nice way to go ahead and have everybody on the same monitor system. If you guys have any additional questions about the baby monitor, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do all sorts of mommy content. I do working mom routines. I do all sorts of postpartum content as well since I am three weeks postpartum. So if you are interested in any of that, definitely hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.